Welcome to the Mainline Health webcast series on the flu season. I'm Dr. David Targan, internal medicine physician at Lankanaw Hospital, and here today with Dr. Michael Goodyear. Dr. Goodyear is chairman of the emergency room at Riddle Memorial Hospital, and here today to discuss the flu. Dr. Goodyear. Dr. Targan, nice to meet you. If patients think they have the flu, should they come to the emergency room? For the most part, no. Okay. Although it does depend on your medical history. For folks with respiratory illness such as COPD or who are receiving chemotherapy or might have an immunocompromised state, they should come to the emergency room. Uh, but for the vast majority of patients, they should stay home, take some Motrin and some chicken soup, and it'll go away on its own. What are the emergency rooms doing at Mainline Health to protect the patients? In the emergency departments, we have provided these edi respiratory etiquette packets, Great. which contain some devices to help minimize the spread. Uh, they include a mask, so anyone who has a cough, a runny nose, a sore throat, should wear this mask to help minimize spread. Okay. We have some towelettes to wash your hands, and some tissues, so if you have a runny nose, uh, you can wipe your nose and dispose of the tissues. Uh, and basically, we're doing things that your mother told you to do to help minimize the risk of infection. Great. So patients who have a cough, a sore throat, or a fever, particularly at this time of year when flu is becoming more prevalent, should wear a mask. And these are available in the waiting room of all mainline health emergency rooms. Great. If you walk into the emergency room and you see patients wearing masks, should you be concerned? No, they shouldn't be concerned. In fact, they should be grateful that folks are actually doing things to prevent the spread of the flu or whatever respiratory illness they might have causing them to cough. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Goodyear, for discussing these informative issues with us today. For more information on the flu, please visit us at mainlinehealth.org slash fluinfo.